Starving is one of the most distressing and terrible experiences a human being can endure. So much so that it can lead them to committing true atrocities. This is a story that happened in a small town many years ago. It was a terrible time. The river dried up due to the extreme heat and people didn't have enough water to satiate their thirst, let alone irrigate their lands. There was a shortage of both work and crops. Many families didn't have the means to feed themselves and thus were forced to abandon their home, or even worse, still to survive. However, one of the farmers was very lucky, since he owned a pretty filled up water well in his domain. Thanks to that, he was able to irrigate his garden, which yielded a lot of crops. However, because of that, he was also forced to build a tall brick wall around his property so others wouldn't steal from him. And even then, he couldn't stop the occasional wild animal from getting in, such as stray dogs. And sometimes, a desperate father or mother could get in as well. He would deal with the animals by beating them to death, no mercy. As for the humans, he would scare them away by shooting his shotgun to the air. And little by little, the farmer became an unsociable and solitary man, obsessed about defending his stuff. He also loved drinking wine, which aggravated his bad traits. Every week, he would go to the market to sell his produce. He didn't care about his neighbors going hungry and would sell his crops at abusively high prices. He would never give anything away and if he ever had leftovers, he preferred to use them as compost or just throw them away. One day, when going back to his farm after being in the pub for a while, he found a man who managed to get into his property to steal some food for his family. The farmer, fed up and angry, grabbed a pickaxe and delivered a lethal blow on the man's head. To get rid of the body, the farmer buried it under his garden to use it as fertilizer. People in the town soon noticed the man had disappeared, but the farmer simply kept on with his life and always denied having seen the man whenever he was asked. However, as much as he tried to hide it, the remorse of what he did started to torment him. One afternoon, while collecting apples from one of his trees, he grabbed one, but noticed something strange. The apple was hotter than normal and he could feel it throbbing right in his hand as if it were a heart. He immediately threw it against his wall, smashing it and rushed into the house to pour himself a glass of wine to calm his nerves. Then things went from bad to worse. One day, while observing his melons, he noticed that one of them was increasing its size little by little. When he got closer to it, he clearly noticed how it now decreased its size to shortly after increase its size again. The melon kept following that rhythm, the same rhythm of a long breathing. Terrified, the farmer grabbed his pickaxe and smashed the melon. The next nights were torture for him. He would go to sleep completely drunk to try to forget, but the figure of the man he murdered kept appearing in his nightmares. One morning, he couldn't take it anymore and ran to his garden to unearth the corpse. He had to get rid of it. Once he finished unearthing it, he looked at his side and saw a hungry stray dog that managed to get into the garden. And the dog was looking directly at the farmer as if judging him. Desperate, the farmer grabbed whatever he had closest to him, the corpse's skull, and threw it towards the dog to scare it away. However, he threw it with such force that it flew above his wall. He then took a deep breath and realized he had to calm down and think carefully. He rushed to his front door to get out and recover the skull before anybody else could see it. However, when he reached the other side, he bumped into the town's sheriff who was casually patrolling around there. The sheriff picked up the skull from the ground and asked the farmer if he had anything to tell him. The farmer couldn't stand it anymore, fell on his knees and confessed his crime. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!